Hi, Peter here again. And at the moment, we're doing a couple of videos on how to improve relationships. And although each relationship is very complex, there are some techniques which really help pretty much all relationships. And a little while ago, we talked about how people view the world and how we can be observant of that to help uh, create a better relationship. Another area which I want to talk about in this video is what we call negative anchoring or in other words, how we push each other's buttons and create negative states, negative emotional states. Because um, you may have heard of Pavlov and his dogs uh, or things like that research. There's this whole area where if you um, do a certain thing, you can create a negative or positive reaction depending on how that person relates to that trigger in the past. Here's an example in a relationship. Let's say a while ago you were in a bad relationship with someone and she had a particular tone of voice. And then that relationship ended and years passed and you met somebody else and everything was going great. But at some particular point in time, she used that same particular tone of voice with you, perhaps for something quite differently. What can happen is our mind picks up that tone and associates it with those negative feelings that we felt a long, long time ago. And suddenly we get into a negative state and your partner says, you know, what's wrong with you? And you just feel totally negative and that can actually uh, bring on a bit of an argument. So this is what we call a negative anchor. We can do it to each other too, is if we uh, get into various arguments with each other, then in future we're looking at, this is our unconscious mind, is looking for the telltale signs when your partner or the person you're trying to create a relationship with is starting to get into a negative state. And it may be true or not true. I've certainly been in the case where suddenly I think someone's going to have an argument with me, but it was just my imagination playing tricks on me and I was about to go all defensive when in fact they were just making an observation or something like that. And I'm sure we're all guilty of that of times. So be aware of the negative triggers or the negative anchors that we fire off of each other. And if you do get into a negative state, you get angry or you get jealous or you get anxious or whatever, try in your mind's eye to trace your mind back to the moment you started noticing those feelings and see if there was some sort of trigger, either the way the person spoke or the words they used or the actions they used, which actually started that uh, negative feeling off. And then whether it's your fault or their fault, the best thing is not to have any blame, but let your partner or the people you're communicating with know that that's your trigger and be honest. Say, when you do this, it makes me feel like this. And I know it's completely bizarre, but that's just what happens. Now, there are ways of collapsing these negative anchors. And if you're interested, I could do another video on that. But um, for the moment, it's best just to be aware of them and maybe ask your partner to also try to be aware not to uh, create that trigger or press that particular button. So that's the second way we can improve relationships be, by being observant of what sets off what emotion in ourselves and of course uh, the people that we're trying to create better communications with.